Hey guys, it's Ivana and welcome to The Intellecta. Today we are here in Smiljan, in, in the village Smiljan, in Croatia, in front of the Nikola Tesla's house. On my right side you can see the house Nikola Tesla was born in and on the left side this is the church of his father. So his father was a, a Orthodox priest. Uh, both the house and the church were, were destroyed in the, by the civil, by the latest civil war in Yugoslavia. But after the war they were renovated and opened as memorial center in 2006. Today we are going to see what contains this memorial center and stay with me and let's go. entering the first room and here was the office of Tesla's father and the library. On the ground floor of the house is presented the life path of Nikola Tesla and his family. From his family arrival in the village of Smiljan 1852 to Nikola's birth on July 10, 1856. His calling in Smiljan, Gospić, Karlovac and Graz. We are now in the second room, and this room was a bedroom. Here you can see a box with 40 drawers in which are written facts and interesting things about the life and work of Nikola Tesla. You can find his famous visions of the future, his statements, his phobias, obsessions and so on. On this floor is also shown Tesla's love towards birds. Tesla development and selfish love towards birds as a child and that lasted his entire life. In New York, in the close vicinity of Brand Park, Tesla often fed pigeons. I fed pigeons for years, thousands of pigeons. Among them was a beautiful all-white bird with light gray spots on her wings. She was different from the rest. Wherever I was, that pigeon would find me. She understood me. I understood her. I truly loved that pigeon. We are going to the top floor of the house. The top floor of the house holds replicas of Tesla's inventions. You can also see letters, decorations and honors. Here you can find replicas of wireless transmission of electromagnetic oscillation and remote control machinery, Tesla's egg of Columbus and two-phase induction motor with external regulation of rotate currents. We are now at two-phase induction motor with external regulation of rotate currents. Now we are going to test the sag of Columbus. That was a device which explained the rotating mm -hmm. magnetic field. Using that magnetic field, Tesla succeeded to spin a copper egg on end. And it's called Tesla Egg of Columbus because it's exhibited at the celebration of 400th anniversary of Christopher Columbus' arrival in the New York. Here you can see that Tesla was able to transfer power over short distances without connecting bars. Tesla experimented with the transmission of electrical energy using a radio frequency resonant transformer of the Tesla coil. Mm -hmm. 
here you can see letters, decorations and honors. You can also see the message, Tesla's message. And here you can see ground plan of Manhattan, which shows the differences between the distribution of direct current and alternating current. You all know that the greatest opponent of Nikola Tesla was Thomas Edison. Nikola and Thomas waged a war of currents in the 1880s over whose electrical system would power the world, Tesla's alternating current system or Edison's direct current electric power. Edison started a massive smear campaign against Tesla, trying to scare people away from using Tesla's alternating currents. He spread false information about it. He wanted to discredit a new form of electricity, Tesla's alternating current, electrocuting, that means killing animals. Stray dogs and cats were the most easily obtained, but he also swept away a few cattle and horses. On January the 4th, 1903, Edison fries an elephant to prove his point. So that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this drive through the world of greatest inventor of all time, Nikola Tesla. Thank you for watching.